Hey, it's Johnny here from Propane Fitness. And in this video, I wanna walk you through an average day of what it's like to coach in the fitness industry online full-time. Dexter is responsible for, Dexter is, <laughs> Dexter is responsible for all of the audio and, and lighting upgrade. Normally, these videos are pretty rubbish, but hopefully this is slightly better. So for the sake of this video, I'm gonna assume that you have an online business set up and running and you're coaching around 30 to 60 clients online in a group-based program. That's what we teach inside of our Propane Business course, um, a setup that basically allows you to get leads in through a, a relatively automated system, convert those leads into clients without sales calls or anything like that, and then coach them in a system that allows you to, basically for every hour of work you put in, you're for the most part, helping more than one person at a time. That's kind of how I would define group coaching. If you don't have this stuff, if you don't have a business set up and, and running, then there are gonna be some more hours um, to begin with, but this is kind of once things are running, and this is also what I would consider to be the bare minimum. So oftentimes I will do more than what I'm gonna describe, but this is sort of the, the minimum that I could do. It takes about four hours, and if I wanted to, if I'm gonna take an afternoon off, or maybe if I'm just busy and have other things to do in the rest of my life, I'll kind of work between nine and just after one o'clock, get all this stuff done, and then I can enjoy the flexibility that online coaching provides. One of the false concepts that's talked about a lot is that this can be done completely automated, there's no need for any human interaction, that you can literally do this from a beach in Bali. I'm sure some people do manage that, but we run things like a real business, I suppose, so um, I quite like to work in it, right? I'm not really looking to not work, I quite enjoy working in the business and on the business. Um, but I think what is important is that if you need the flexibility and if you want more flexibility, there is that option to do that. So the first thing that I do is I check our kind of business marketing dashboard. So the way that we run things in Propin Fitness is we are largely reliant on paid traffic. We do do some organic bits of content, things to complement that, but we aren't reliant on bits of organic content to generate leads and generate interest for our program. So I keep things in a spreadsheet. I used to be an accountant, so I suppose it's those tendencies coming out but I'm always looking at our cost per lead, our cost per sale, our cost per click. Are things converting how they should be? And are we getting customers in regularly? Are we getting leads regularly? I think one of the reasons why people apply to work with us inside of our business program is that we probably are a little bit different in that respect. We don't really rely on things that are hard to control. So one of the problems with organic posting, posting free content, getting DMs and things like that, running your business in that way, it's very hard to rely on. It's very fragile, very unpredictable. You have some good months, some bad. When you can view things at a snapshot and upload some data into a spreadsheet in 30 minutes in the morning, you can really clearly see like, okay, this is out of whack or this needs work. And then you can spend a bit of time fixing that or improving something. But generally speaking, I will spend the first 30 minutes of my day looking at our ads, making sure they're performing, looking at the kind of funnel performance, sales funnel performance and making sure that's working as expected as well. So that's the first 30 minutes of my day. Next thing I do is I will write one to two marketing emails. So if someone goes through our sales funnel and doesn't buy, the main way that we kind of retarget them or build a relationship with them is through email. And I will typically send an email mostly every every day, but sometimes it's down to four or five times a week if I am really busy. And in about 45 minutes, I can usually write one to two emails. Depends on who it's going to and how long the email is. But generally speaking, for the next 45 minutes, that's the next task. And the goal of those emails is to bring people who weren't able to work with us in the first interaction for whatever reason. Maybe they were going on holiday and couldn't devote time to fitness and nutrition or didn't want to. Maybe they it's a price objection or a cost reason. Maybe they just don't trust us enough, right? So once a month or sometimes a bit more frequently, I offer them a chance to join our Propane Protocol program or we have a 28-day program as well. And that's how I communicate with our leads and people who are in our customer pipeline. So the next 45 minutes are spent writing one to two emails. The third thing I do is I will go through our client Facebook groups, which is one of the points of contact that clients have with us who are being managed in our group coaching programs. So I will go through those groups, make sure questions are answered, make sure people don't have any problems, there's no tech issues or anything's going on. And that'll normally take, sometimes, some days it's two or three minutes, other days it's half an hour. I might even do a live video in there or add some content, post something in there that's kind of client only information, but that'll take up to half an hour. Task number four is usually nutritional programming adjustments, designing programs, making sure everyone's got the Lex block of their training. I might spend this time building the next section of a program that I know is going out to a group or even adding in some new variations. So if people need home-based workouts, 
uh, workouts that don't include certain bits of equipment, workouts that manage um, certain injuries or restrictions and time, things like that. I'll use this time usually to do programming, nutritional adjustments, or maybe sometimes speak to a client one-on-one -on -one if needed. But again, the way we teach things in propane business, what we do in propane fitness is a lot of the things that we that we offer, a lot of the principles of our training and programming are standardized. So while there's always a lot of customization in what we do, generally speaking, it doesn't take me hours to write things from scratch. We have templates and things that we can use, resources that we can draw on. That means that I don't have to spend too much of my day doing that. But for about 30 minutes, um, I will spend time managing clients' nutrition if needed, managing training programs if needed, or writing something new. Next thing I'll do is I'll produce usually one piece of content. That's what you're seeing here, right? So what I will do is I'll take one of the emails that I've written. And if you're on our business email list, you'll see this email just to prove that I practice what I preach. So I'll take an email that I wrote, a topic that I picked from our content queue that I wrote an email about, and I will put that into another kind of media, right? So I'll record a podcast about it. I'll do a video about it, might post it on our Instagram. But generally speaking, I try to put content on search-based platforms. Now, the reason for that is, if you make a podcast that does really well, if you make a YouTube video that does really well, it or write an article that does really well and put it on your website, that will then continue to get more traffic and attention over time without you having to constantly maintain it. All right, so we have a few fitness podcasts that are still bringing in organic inquiries without us having to do anything. We have a few YouTube videos that bring us inquiries without us having to do anything. And we have a few articles that you wouldn't believe that how specific they are that are still bringing in opt-ins. People are using our calculator. People are signing up for our services and organically inquiring about what we do because of bits of content we created. So generally, while we do play around with Instagram a little bit, we try and post content to search-based platforms. So I'll spend the next 40 minutes of my day taking one of the emails and transferring it into another content medium, usually video or audio, podcast or video. And then the final thing that I do, which I'll usually spend about an hour on, is just kind of buffer, admin, general work, right? No matter how focused you are, no matter how planned you are, things always crop up, right? I'll typically have to spend more time clearing emails than I'd like. Things might go wrong during the day that I have to pay attention to. Things might need fixing or need my attention. So generally an hour a day, I'm spent kind of fighting fires, doing things that aren't necessarily super important that I probably should give to someone else or all that sort of stuff, right? But I have to spend usually about an hour each day doing that. And that's a pretty typical representation of what I would consider to be um, the, the, the daily recurring tasks, right? That if I just did those things, the business would continue generating leads, continue making sales, clients would continue to get served. We'd have bits of content that go out to support what we do. I'd always be sending emails, I'd always be communicating with our networks and our, our followers. Um, but if I wanted to at that point, I could probably take the rest of the day off. Now that's not to say that I've not done any work, right? I think what's what's really critical to, to pay attention to is that the only reason I'm able to do that is I'm 100% clear on what I need to do each day, right? I have this plan out, I know the sequence of things that I do. I usually have done a little bit of preparation for each of those things, okay? So I don't just sit down and write an email and spend an hour and a half having to think about what to write. We have lots of different ways and lots of different frameworks that we come up with those bits of content, okay? The only reason that we're able to spend specific bits of time managing our clients, managing our advertising, managing our funnels is because we've put the work in in advance, right? So we're in this position in Propin Fitness where we can afford to do that. I will, however, generally work for the rest of the day, right? I don't normally just take the afternoon off because I quite like working in the business, right? Something that not many people talk about. I think one of the points of working for yourself, one of the points of working in an industry, in an industry you're passionate about is that it doesn't really feel like work that much of the time, right? The only part of my day that probably does feel like work is that one hour of, of admin stuff that I have to do where it's sometimes not fun things, right? But generally speaking, like making content, writing emails, chatting with clients, even managing the advertising, it's generally pretty entertaining, interesting stuff to do. And then the latter half of my day, or sometimes I'll do that in the afternoon and I'll do other stuff in the morning, but the other side of my day is project-based work, right? So building out new programs, building out new products, building systems and automations, things that can help us handle and serve and generate more interest, more business, more clients. Right? And that's stuff that is different every day. It's normally depending on the goals that we have in the business at the time in that quarter. Um, but I'll normally be done by about four o'clock, 4.30, at which point I go train. All right, so that's it. That's really a day in the life of an online fitness coach. Maybe easier than you'd expected, harder than you'd expected, but I'd like to know your comments. If you've got any questions about any of the stuff I do, leave them in the comments below. If you'd like to see the business model that we use and how all these things fit together, there's a link below this video for you to get access to a case study about propane fitness and how we work. So you can basically emulate some of the key systems. Hope you enjoyed this video. 
subscribe to the channel if this was interesting. I'll speak to you soon.